so often as radio peeps, we have audio, but we need some visuals to go with it so that we can share it online, maybe YouTube, wherever you're into sharing things. So here's what I'm going to show you, how to do the audio spectrum that will match up and run along with your audio. It's very simple, very easy to do, and I'll show you. Here's the sample. Taylor Swift is on this issue of Vogue magazine showcasing her new hair did. Here she is now on the point. There is no... So that's Brian the intern. He's a fill-in weekend imaging stud here at the point. But you can see I had his air check, so I just threw it down and threw some visuals with it. Here's another example of where I use the same effect. We interviewed the jocks and just put it behind their answers when we asked them some simple questions. But my cousin had been injured, so Gene Simmons writes a, Dear Darren, so sorry to hear about your accident. So as you can see, I just shot him on a green screen, dropped it out, put a solid behind him, and added this audio spectrum to it. So I've downloaded a bed from Ready to Go, and I'm going to just go ahead and put some audio spectrum visualizations to that. Matt Steele, just killer production at Ready to Go, so check them out. So let's go. A new comp, you can make whatever comp sizes you're into and whatever you need. I'm going to drag the uh, bed basic beats two in there. I'm going to go new layer. Let's do a solid white solid. Doesn't really matter. And then I'm going to go to my effects and presets. If you search audio spectrum will come up. So you just add it in there. Now, the first thing you want to do after you add that effect to that layer is tell after effects what audio it's following so let's go right here audio layer bed basic beats 2 because i already brought that in and you can see we already have a little something so i'm going to twirl down here and here so that i can see the waveform that way i can see where the action is on my waveform so that i'm not stuck someplace like this and i don't understand why there's no audio spectrum because i'm not hovering in my um, playhead isn't over some audio so i'm going to put that right there now a bunch of this stuff is where you do your art so adjust all these things to taste right and whatever you're good at and whatever you're looking for and what look you're going for i like there to be a lot of audio so i'm going to put this at 100 um, how many bands do you want is what it's asking here i want there to be a lot but not too many that it looks like a line. So I'll just leave it at 60 um, maximum height. Let's give it some height, but I don't want it going off the screen. Again, that's my own personal preference. You decide what you like. How long is the duration after the sound hits? How long will this waveform run with it? Let's set that at 175. Audio offset. Again, this is all adjustments that you're going to want to make later. I'm going to put there at zero i'm going to bring down the softness because i don't like things to look blurry i'm going to go green here outside color now so this is an interesting one so essentially what this does if you're familiar with photoshop it'll give it a stroke i don't want a stroke um, if i do red like green and red it won't go green to red it'll give you the green with the red outside so i'm going to give it just two very close colors now it's all green but i don't want all green that's not a waveform should look like all right well what if we adjust this hue now we get some rainbow action in there so again do what you like here you can see if i take that back to red it gives it a little different effect and you adjust to taste now display options there are dots there are analog lines you can do all this whatever you're into Find a graphic designer and have them make some decisions for you. Now, I'm going to go layer. I'm going to add a solid so I can show you exactly what I did with Brian's. I'm going to drop that down. There I have my spectrum. I need to bring my spectrum effects back up so that I can adjust it. Side A and B. Side A will just give you up top. So I did side A on one. I moved it up some. I duplicated this layer. Command D. And then I would made side B on that layer because it'll duplicate the effect right with it. Uh, video, save the radio star. Sure, why not? 
Let's pick a different font again. Ew. Okay. So then I essentially pick that font, put it in there, boom. It's all there. Maybe you want to add an image, throw a PNG in there. And this is more of what I did with Kelly's interview video. Drop that background out. And now I have something in there. And if you're going to do this, probably going to want to put these a little closer together. Right? All right. Boom. So there you go. Little visualization for your audio. Get out there, do better, share your results with me.